Before our next programme, we're going over to the newsroom for a news flash from Michael Burke. An airliner with 118 passengers on board has crashed on the M1 motorway in Leicestershire. It came down near Kegworth, junction 24 of the motorway, just short of the East Midlands Airport. Eyewitnesses say it was coming into the airport with an engine on fire when it crashed into a motorway embankment. The aircraft's a British Midland DC-9, which was en route from Heathrow to Belfast before reporting engine trouble, and the captain asked to make an emergency landing at East Midlands Airport. There are reports of fatalities and of survivors, but no details about the casualties yet. Thirty ambulances have been sent to the scene of the crash. A short while ago, an eyewitness described what happened. A lot of noise, uh, as if it was a backfire, Flames coming out of the port engine, very much nose up and wing down on the port side as if he was struggling for height. Uh, on the final approach, he got very close. Uh, they go out of sight just as they come into the final approach from where our, from my house is situated. And at that point, uh, is the, the noise was very much curtailed. Normally we hear the noise continue for a little longer and then we hear the reverse thrust and you know that the plane is down on the runway. This didn't occur. Uh, we checked in on the emergency service frequency and we've had reports that there's debris on both carriageways of the M1. So it sounds as though the plane probably came down just before the M1. A few minutes ago I spoke to Alan Parker, who's the Chief Ambulance Officer for Leicestershire, and I asked him what he knew of what had happened. At this stage we are still receiving reports from the scene, but uh, we understand it's a DC-9 with about 118 passengers on board that has come down just short of East Midlands Airport on the M1 motorway. So are the casualties not just on the, on the aircraft itself, but maybe on the motorway too? That's a distinct possibility because uh, it's landed on the motorway, but we're not sure at this stage. I certainly can't confirm whether there are ground casualties or not. So you've got no idea yet of how many people might have been killed? How many people might have survived even? We haven't at this stage, no. What? It's, uh, is it, obviously, we're very shortly into the incident and it's very busy up there at the stage. What sort of operation is being mounted? It's a very extensive operation. We have 30-plus ambulances and officers on the scene or on the way to the scene. And obviously the other emergency services are also in attendance. From the reports you've got so far, this is clearly a major incident. Without a doubt, yes.